All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. And for some reason, that thing crashed. Uh, and we are up to what are we up to? Clown World number. Pretty sure it's three thirty-one. Let's take a look here. Yep, three thirty-one. Um, well, for some reason, uh, YouTube decided not to. I don't know. Show a lot of views for this for some reason. Um. Oh yeah, so I don't know. I think I, I think we were at 185 yesterday. But anyway, thank you to the one person that subscribed. Uh, I mean, also I thanked them. But I guess they get an extra thanks anyway. So um, I actually woke up pretty early, like around 8 8:30 a.m. But I'm starting my videos kind of late right now, which is 10:49 a.m. You know, the minute thing just turned. And uh, what you call it? I was doing a lot of research into like um, how I'm going to start implementing like you know, the aspects of my MMO, you know, networking, all that stuff. And of course, uh, what's funny is I tried typing in, because this is going to be a very important component, ultimately how I will monetize the game completely free to play. Uh, and it's, it'll allow everybody else. Because basically what I realized is I want to create a pretty complete game, but like a bunch of different game modes, you know, and of course casual friendly-ish with, you know, with some game modes being hardcore. All right, where you actually lose all your loot. <clears throat> all right, and then of course there'll be some Tarkov like you know insurance system kind of thing with caveats, of course. But mine's going to be a little different. Uh, and then ultimately, um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so we need an auction house place, and then basically everybody's going to get all their items, and then you know it's going to be like the Diablo three uh, real money uh, auction uh, auction house. So the problem with Blizzard is they cater too much to the socialists and the communists. This has always been a problem with video games in general. Like everyone that just plays it just happens to be like these angry left-wing socialist assholes. So that's why they're always constantly complaining and shit and demanding more free shit. All right. Um, and then with that being said, you know, uh, thanks to the whole Groiper uprising and the whole Nick Fuentes thing, it kind of made me realize, you know what? The next generation of video gamers are actually going to be more right-wing people and more and right-wing people what do they like they like making money and they understand more so than their left-wing counterparts the idea of hey you know i made this shit i got this loot i want to sell it for real money i i i did the hard work why 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 are people getting mad at me right so you know i, I mean i always i always knew it was like a liberal versus conservative thing right but the problem is i always would feel outnumbered well now i think that's actually going to be changing so you know, I'm, I'm, uh, my, my vision is making a gamble, you know, that basically the conservatives will save my ass on this one. The conservative, you know, Zoomer and Generation Alpha, that'll come after them kind of thing, right? Because everyone loves video games, right? The only people that don't really like it are like, you know, really angry boomers, you know, uh, I, I think maybe very angry right-wing boomers or something. So yeah, I was looking at that. It's uh, it's actually kind of interesting because like uh, I mean I haven't finished doing the research, but basically um, Microsoft uh, says they're working on it, right? Because they only have because that was interesting too. He said there's actually uh, the guy that ans that seems to answer all the questions for the community. He actually said that player trading is already in uh, Azure Playfab, right? Where it's person to person trading. Uh, he said that's actually stage one of implementing auction house, and then they've been working on it for years, but they have no estimate. But I'm thinking maybe e either late this year or early next year we might get something like an auction house. So in the meantime, basically, I'll just have to just t uh, create like a a scene in Unity and a, or like a server map, and then I just set the player limit to like something kind of high. I, well, actually, I don't know. It depends. This is a lot of money actually to maintain so many concurrent players. Actually, no. Playfab says they can support up to a thousand concurrent players, and it's all for free. So I can, yeah, I can space out like two hundred, uh, or maybe even one hundred fifty, and then just have people go in and just do like you know old EverQuest style or old you know uh, MMO RPG style like spam and check kind of things. So it's be it'd be really old school. But because I want people to actually you know not idle there for forever and take up a slot. I, think, I, I, I don't know how hard it will be, but maybe I can implement like a kickout timer. So like, you know, you go in there, you have like 20 minutes to spam your, and sell your shit, and then the server will kick you off to make room for the next person, right? So uh, so that, that, that's what uh, I'm, I'm going to do. 
the problem is though is like if there's only 100 people out of 150 there's no point in having the timer so uh, i don't know god see it already starts getting kind of complicated yeah so anyway that's where my head's at um because i finished finally my create my first 3d game but the problem is there's a stupid bug and the code is correct so I don't know what's going on, where basically it's not triggering the, uh, you know, I completed the level, go to the next level thing, right? It's, it's, it's probably something stupid and minor, but I don't want to spend like, you know, days trying to figure it out when I'd rather just, just simply move on, you know, learn as much as I can. And then, yeah, you know, you know, cause I, you know, I'll eventually have to go back to it at some point probably. So yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm going to try and say I can keep today's videos a little short because yesterday was pretty long, right? But, I mean, everybody's watched it on BitChute, so, uh, I don't know. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, YouTube is, YouTube is such shit. I hate having to use it, but what are you going to do? But at least BitChute is actually really good right now. They added so many processing servers. So, probably get uh, shitty again, like, say, some, I would say around and probably after Donald Trump wins re-election this year, uh, if he does. Right. I mean, I don't know what I mean, right now, I, I completely forgot that the Democrats would actually be stupid enough to scam Bernie Sanders out of the nomination yet again. So, uh, yeah, but I mean, I really want a Donald Trump versus Bernie Sanders. Like there could never there could not be a more direct contrast between two competing idiot ideologies. You know, my free market capitalism versus my fucking communism and gulags. And I just want the whole world to see just how fucking retarded, you know, American politics uh, uh, are. And then maybe, just maybe, you know, people will be like, you know what? Maybe we should start questioning all the stuff we've been told, right? Because, you know, obviously it's only about one thing in the end. It's about the truth. And all of the truth, even though stuff you don't want to hear. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, Bitcoin searches for this week are still at seven. So, uh, yeah, so... Interestingly enough, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty stable at 7. There was an adjustment for 6 at this uh, January 19th to 25th. So overall, it's just very low. Uh, cryptocurrency continues to get kind of pounded-ish, a little. 24-hour uh, volume is $110 billion, essentially. Bitcoin dominance is very high right now at 64.9%. So Bitcoin's down to 91.93, so it's having a little trouble. Uh, Ripple is the only coin that seems to be going up. Litecoin's down to 68.38. You know, so so far these losses aren't overly bad, but they're not looking uh, so great. Dog coins at 298 million market cap ish, and Steam is where is Steam? Steam is 18.67 cents. It's actually raising and rising in price. It's actually really good for me. Finally. No, I guess they're. I guess Steam is finally improving their blockchain code, so now it's actually working better. Uh, so, because uh, I think Ethereum is actually a fork from Steam, or maybe it was EOS forked from Steam. So some people still stuck with Steam. I just went with Steam because it was just more user friendly. So you know, it works for me. Oh, that's another thing too. I could maybe try to use a blockchain to create, but that's like so much more complicated. Plus. My game is going to have items that will be destroyed and just removed from the game economy, right? So the, because like, you know, if everyone's got running around with Mark V, you know, steel armor or adamantium armor, you know, I want to make sure that eventually it leaves the economy so it remains valuable, right? You know, like, you know, I'm going to be jamming up the blockchain with basically a bunch of items that will uh, basically be destroyed. So, you know, it's like, yeah, but yeah. But, oh, more stuff for me to think about. I don't know why this font just got suddenly thicker and bolder, but okay. So cans down for well, it's down a lot. Wow. Okay, that's good, I guess. Right? It's correlated with the crypto markets. So all right. Uh, looks like the finance markets are up big time today. Right? Dow is up 457 points. So it looks like everyone's just pulling, dumping all their cryptocurrency, but not too much crypto, and going back into the stock and uh, equity markets. That's definitely what it looks like is happening. Uh, and then GBTC is doing all right too. It's actually pretty well correlated to Bitcoin. Unfortunately, you cannot buy options with this apparently, or it's not yet. But we'll have to we'll have to see. Uh, JMC Coin is still under maintenance for some reason. 
Um, I checked my emails. I checked my Discord. Uh, nobody at Crex contacted me because at least when the 404 coin wall was having problems with Crex, they immediately like you know contacted me uh, on Discord. I think they also might have sent me an email, but of course I respond in a Discord because obviously that's a lot faster because it's you know real time chatting. It's like okay, and then you know try this, this, and that. See if that works. Um, so uh, I guess that's a good sign. All right. Uh, I actually have no idea what's wrong with the JMC wallet, um, but I, I guess they'll eventually fix it. So anyway, it's at three to four right now. Um, even though the buy order for three is not very uh, hot, there's obviously a lot of just buying stuff in general. Um, yeah, in fact, there's a big buy order of 30 million, 30.4 million JMC coins. So eventually this thing will get whittled down. But uh, right now, everyone's dumping their crypto and going back into the stock markets and equity markets. So that's going to have a pretty negative impact. And of course, 404 coin can just simply just cannot catch a break. Uh, while people still want 404 coin, as, as we can see here, a nice, nice big buy in on 12, it's still pretty bad. It's like 11 to 12. So basically, 404 coin is just going to continue to suffer. It is so much. Now it's down like, what, 45? percent or so uh from what it should be even though the supply hasn't really gone out of control yet so uh yeah we're just kind of screwed i guess uh, or at least i'm screwed all right but there's not much we can do about it because it's because everyone already knows about four four coin the problem is just we just there's no use case right for any of these cryptos which is why i have to work on the game uh two by two coin uh has gone up a lot so i guess some people are also going to be panicking and then dumping 404 and going into two by two all right it's for a little while so now it's at 87.94 uh so this will last for a while but eventually two by two will have the same problem as 404 so because the apr is very very high it was deliberately in uh designed to have a high apr that's why people like it and then you know it's uh you can't have one without the other, right? What goes up a lot must eventually come down a lot too. So you know that's the risk we take. So at least that that at least that way, you know, JFC coins are already down and out. Well, not out, but you know, it can't really go down that much further already because it's already kind of just safeish at sixty-two percent, which is actually already still a lot. But it'll always be more uh, stable than these two coins. So. Um, I don't know, uh, but at least we know. But at least I know I can do a coin swap, which would be very annoying. Um, yeah, and then uh, you know that's worst case scenario. But again, by then, you know uh, the crypto bull market should be fine. Once uh, it gets to spring or the warm, the weather gets warmer, the coronavirus thing will die off. All right, because. I was watching XQC and they were doing a bunch of videos about the coronavirus. Well, you know, and it, or actually no, it's Greek God X actually. He's been he's been blowing up pretty well recently, especially because he's playing Tarkov. So I like watching him play that. And um, yeah, uh, they had an actual doctor or whatever that says you know how a virus works. You know all the scientific mumbo jumbo. Uh, and then he said that uh, the coronavirus itself is very similar to. SARS rather than MERS, I think, or something like that. And then basically it can survive on a smooth, I assume clean surface for five days maximum before the virus itself dies off. So he said that viruses like this tend to thrive in cold, dry weather, which is right now because it's winter, right? And then once it gets warmer, especially spring, then there's nothing to worry about because basically it just cannot survive in that kind of environment. So we just have to make it to spring and then this dumb shit will go away. And then at the same time, Bitcoin halving will occur and then maybe it won't be priced in or it will be, um, but it definitely can't hurt. So, um, yeah, so we got pretty good things going on for it. But yeah, this this uh, this coronavirus is really disrupting things. So, yeah, but for now, everything's going down in crypto because everyone's dump jumping back into the equity markets because now they just realize Hey, this coronavirus thing ain't so bad because it's only two percent mortality rate you know so uh even if you compensate for you know china not giving out the real info all right because they're actually arresting people for spreading negative news about china and coronavirus i understand why they're doing it though because like uh, they really don't want a, a worldwide panic all right the globalists especially do not want a worldwide panic i have repeatedly said this 
So they're going to actually do everything in their power to actually keep this shit, you know, uh, uh, to, to actually defeat the virus, right? You know, because the last thing they want is everyone going, like, uh, Walking Dead survivor prepper mode, because then everyone becomes an instant right-wing uh, conservative. And the globalists absolutely do not fucking want that. All right, the last thing they want is that, all right? The second last thing they want is Bernie Sanders winning the election or the uh, Democrat nomination, which is why they're screwing him over uh, right now. So uh, let's see, cap pop cones at 41.50 to 48.89 as always. Uh, now this looks impressive, but if you actually look at the trade volume, it's just hardly anybody buying. It's, uh, it's all sells, and I think a lot of this is me. Actually, this is not me, I don't know who that is, but basically everyone's just selling, so you know, well, whatever. Eventually 404 at two by two coin will also hit some sort of bottom. Um, I don't know. Like it, it, it's it, it's just gonna it's just gonna continue to uh, go down quite a bit. So I mean I don't know how many zeros sub zeros that uh, corrects will support, but there's gonna be a lot more zeros. All right, unless of course I can get the game up and running uh, in time. But you know that shit's pretty hard. That shit's pretty hard. And ultimately the game has to take priority over even the cryptocurrency, right? Because you can't rush it. You can't you can't rush good code and you can't rush a good uh, good game. All right. Um, oh, I did forget. I mentioned this earlier, but I forgot to finish the point. So I was looking through, uh, you know, threads about how to implement an auction house or an MMO in general. All right, because I was trying to figure out how to do the auction house implementation, and uh, I saw a bunch of useless Reddit threads where, like, they were just throwing out random things I've never heard of. Right, I never heard of these uh, networking services. And then one asshole actually spent like, you know, must have been two, three thousand words. Convincing someone not to develop an MMORPG and I immediately thought flash back to when I was uh, Working background. I was in City Hall in Manhattan at the time. I think it was uh, Law and Order SVU, right? It was an outdoor scene and I was uh, at that point I was getting ready. And this was many years ago, right? It must have been 2011 2012. I don't know when did I start filming my movie, right? Yeah, so I was, uh, you know, I was very apt to make my first movie I've been dreaming about since I was a kid. And, of course, I eventually did make my movie, right, uh, Underdogs. And, uh, yeah, the guy was like, you should make a movie. Here's all the reasons. It's like, what a, what a, see, I can't, I can't, I can't use community guidelines. But, yeah, he was like a really big F word, right? Not, yeah, it's like, I really hate censorship. But, yeah, he was like the biggest cuck, you know, F word in the world. So, and, and, then, and then when I read that Reddit post, it immediately flashed me back to that same loser, right? It's, it's really not that hard. The only reason why it's hard is because all of these, you know, fucking retards just overcomplicate everything, right? You know, I was, I was one day looking, I was, I, was, uh, I was trying to, you know, try to fix the, the bug that I had in, like, my program yesterday, because even though the code was correct, it was like, it's still not working, but it should, right? So I was like, okay, how do I convert an integer variable into a string which is basically text right because in python it's just simple right you just do this right str i forgot the syntax but basically str and then you know name of your variable right you know some number and then and then that's all you have to do and then i think they use colons instead of semicolons that's because in python it's really simple but when I was looking at for C sharp, right, which is what Unity uses, people were posting like, you know, like fucking pages of code for one simple function. I'm like, Jesus Christ, no wonder games uh, come out buggy. No wonder software has bugs. No wonder development times were like, you know, 50,000 years for something that should take like six months. So that's actually going to be a problem for me, uh, for me eventually, too, because like I probably have to eventually like as I said, I'm going to have to create my own company. Right. I'm going to have to hire people. I gotta figure out a way to like either screen like screen for people who know how to write code simply or you know train people to do it simply so that's gonna be something that i'm gonna have to try to figure out all right so uh yeah so anyway it's just like yeah there's just so many losers out there it's like just don't like anybody that tells you you can't do something uh yeah just 99 percent of the time you should ignore the idiot Because you can do it, you just gotta figure out how to do it. And that's all. Anyway, buying Bitcoin of buying one dollar Bitcoin every day since 2015 would have made you this rich. 
Yeah, I'm sure, but you have to have taken the gamble in the first place. Tesla stock now looks exactly like Bitcoin at 20 grand in 2017, so he's implying that it's going to crash. Yeah, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people are really bashing Tesla. But that's also because, like, the globalists don't like him. I forgot the reason why, but the globalists are really coming after him, too, which is kind of weird. Tesla's more overbought. No, AI fintech goes after voice brokers with, fist, uh, with first Bitcoin trade. That's going along with its first trade in Bitcoin. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. Bitcoin fails to break out. This minor crypto has surged by 400%. Bitcoin, Craig Ray stalls Bitcoin. Oh, it says Binding Curry is an attorney. I'm, I'm so irritated that this stupid fuck has so much attention. Uh, 37 million dollars in Bitcoin for sale by US government registration for online auction begins. Yeah, that's that's nothing. 37 million. I mean, the trade volume for in the last 24 hours for Bitcoin is 30.5 billion, right? Literally like 10, a hundred, almost a more, a little more than a hundred times the the trade volume. It's like so. It's basically like a little, like 0 0.8 percent. It's not even one percent. So uh, and I, oh yeah, it's probably because they seized all the Bitcoin from like Ross Ulbrich or whatever the Silk Road guy. So they're so the FBI is still trying to off offload it, I guess. Cardano Creator says launch day for Shelly mainnet approaching. I don't know what that is. XRP volume flips Bitcoin on crypto exchange. Uh, whatever. You know, it's in Mexico. Very good. The highly influential Bitcoin wallet just issued a warning to crypto traders. Uh, okay, you can suck my dick. U.S. politicians want big tech to share data as Bitcoin, Litecoin, and hey, developers push for more privacy. Uh, this might actually be interesting because usually these assholes are in cahoots with each other to ban everybody that's a challenge to corporations and the U.S. government, and really just globalists in general. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll we'll skim that later. Uh, ten billion dollar wealth versus Bitcoin poise to pump. Here's why. Yeah, I mean, kind of already know that. Uh, okay, on the run. Why is this irrelevant? So this guy has 200 grand in cash and Texas cops are after him for money laundering. Okay. Uh, we saw that. Okay. So luckily, unlike yesterday, I guess today's video will actually be a lot shorter. U.S. politicians are pushing up a bipartisan bill. Hold on. Uh, that will it affect major websites currently operating as digital town halls. Facebook, Telegram, WhatsApp, blah, blah, blah. The new legislation would permit the government to access encrypted messages and content. Yeah, so this isn't even about censorship. It's just the government just wants to just be more fucking assholes. Yeah. State of trying to eliminate activity, illegal activity on the internet, which is bullshit, specifically paid bear. So, okay. Uh, that's technically a good thing, but obviously everybody, all the globalists are paid bear themselves. They probably just told Donald Trump, Hey, let's just do this, and then like we'll go after all the pain bears And Trump, being the dumbass boomer that he is, will just be like, okay, yeah, okay, you know. Uh, so yeah, and of course it irritates me that I'm still got to vote for him because it's either him or Bernie Sanders, right? Um, yeah, because Joe Biden's out of it, right? Like they really wanted Joe Biden to be the nominee, but the problem is Joe is just too old. Like he 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 can't even talk or think properly. Like, you actually just watch him in person. You just think, he doesn't have all his marbles there. He's just too old and frail. He can't be president. Like, the image, I hate to say the word optics, but yeah, his optics are just too negative. Like, he did a good job of not, you know, doing any more, like, the hand grabby of the girls and women or whatever thing, right? But uh, too little, too late, you know? Too little, too late. Uh... The Earn It Act could deal hard blow to social media platforms that permit users to upload, comment on, and share content. Yeah, this is also another problem too. This eliminates privacy. So, like, if you're a whist like, so everyone's identity is gonna like this is just really bad. The pro proposal will establish a 15-member commission that develops best practices for providers of interactive computer services to prevent online. Okay, God, Trump, tr tr fuck. Trump, you, like Trump is literally walking into a trap, and he's not the one that's going to pay for it because he's just too dumb. And we're the ones that are going to pay for it. Lawmakers stipulate that the scope of the inquiries is focused on protecting children, and their legislation will consider the interests of providers of interactive. Da, 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 da. 
Uh, EFF characterizes the villa as granting sweeping powers could open the door to surveillance, stifle freedom, and systematize internet control by the U.S. government. Yes, exactly. Right? Because if they have this level of control, the next step is now the U.S. government could just simply ban you. Right? And they'll get around the U.S. Constitution that way. And, of course, it's Lindsay Fucktard Graham uh, that introduced the stupid bill, blah, 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 blah. Uh, U.S. Senator to grab a later pile when he gained the cooperation of big tech creators to monitor users and roll back privacy whenever necessary. Leaders in Bitcoin blockchain are working pro to push back against this bullshit. Good. Yeah. So, yeah, we really need the Griper uprising. We really need it. Uh, protocols, financial, blah, blah, blah. Like Corey creator Charlie just tweeted update on an efforts to implement privacy features, improve stability in the world's network. Did he? If that's a blockchain program will mimble, Wimble are designed to enable users to make their Litecoin transactions private and untraceable. Um, oh, okay. I'm going to retweet that. Uh, Litecoin Mimble will generate up development update. Um, I was hoping this would be a tweet, but okay. Uh, meanwhile, blockchain developers have launched a new privacy network. Aztec on Ethereum. According to the CEO, you should create a completely private customs asset from scratch. Okay. See, unfortunately, I cannot use this really because, well, I could kind of use it ish. But the problem is, like, I obviously have to run a business, so I have to report all my income probably every day, actually, for record, keeper, record keeping purposes. Right? So, like, if I bring in, like, let's say a bunch of JMC 404 2x2 and whatever coins, right? Litecoin, Monero. Because uh, I'm not going to accept Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin's just too damn slow. You know, it's like the fee alone is just going to be ridiculous. So, forget it. Um, and I have it all converted into Litecoin and then I sell the Litecoin for fiat and then that's why I report, right? Because technically that's like a double event, I think. Uh, but the thing is, it's, it's still going to get taxed once, right? Because the IRS just wants to make sure that you get your money. They get your money the day you, the second you get it, right? So that's why you have to record everything. So I think it should be fine from my end, right? So basically, let's, uh, yeah, it's, um, fair, where was I going with this? Yeah, uh, but with that being said, you know, with a lot of people sending me private shit, I'll, you know, and the IRS, you know, let's say hypothetically, the IRS wants to give me shit, I'm like, Hey, a lot of this stuff has a lot of an, uh, uh, anonymous stuff. I'm not in charge of any of these projects. I'm already reporting it. So, like, you you know, tough luck. It's like, you know, here, here's the blockchain. It's like, you know, go, go bother everybody else, right? It's like, you're, you're already getting my money. What more do you fucking want? And what's the IRS going to say? No. <laughs> it's like, well, uh, it's like, well, you, we, you gave us five million, but we want six million. It's like. Yeah, you know, the IRS actually, I don't think is that fucking uptight. They only get angry if like they know you owe them five million, but you gave them like nothing. Then, then they probably get angry. I think that's what it is. Um, so you know, yeah, Tom, totally, there's not much they're gonna eventually do anyway because they're just gonna have commercial real estate. And I'm gonna zero out my income. I'm actually not gonna zero it out. I'm just gonna pay like uh, I'm gonna choose. It's like a, I'm gonna. It's gonna. I'm gonna create my own little game called Choose Your Tax Rate. It's gonna be like five percent or something. Justin Sun, the creator of Tron. Uh, so something about Torch Project will utilize some kind of crazy anonymous thing to reshape the internet. Okay, very good. Cardano Creator says he is also going to be doing something too with this protocol to make Zcash have transactions transactions retain validity while also remaining fully encrypted on the blockchain. The list con continues with new startups emerging by the long so prior I've been working on for and they're all going to do okay. Well, I'll talk about privacy coins lately. Here's the list I found. Hope it helps. Ah, so that's why all this money is anonymous. Uh, Pivx is anonymous. I did not know that. Isn't Pivx a proof of stake coin as well? Because what we really need is a proof of stake coin that's also privacy enabled. Right? Because all right now all this stuff is proof of work, I think. Huh. Says Hawks, it's, uh, 2020 is going to be the year of snark for a lot of cryptocurrency. Probably an extremely exciting to see how powerful this is and what it can do. 
Yeah. So as the U.S. government is trying to use like the old school boomer ways to like censor the internet and grab everyone's money and privacy, and also at the because again, you know these stupid. See, Lindsey Graham doesn't even give a shit. Where, where is that stupid fuck? All right, Lindsey Graham doesn't even give a shit about. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do Lindsey. There we go. Where the hell was this? It's in the middle of the article. Lindsey Graham couldn't be bothered to deal with censorship, right? But he's more than happy to steal everyone's privacy. Like, I really hate that stupid fuck. All these fake conservative, you know, like 80% of the Republican Party need to be fucking kicked out of office. Uh, early to undermine Section 230, the most powerful part of protecting free speech online. Which is hilarious because there is no free speech online anyway. Uh, excuse me. Uh, blah, 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 with some important exceptions. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Also, the EFF isn't even dealing with censorship either, right? It's like, I, I just hate all these, you know, fake globalist assholes. At least, the EFF, at least the EFF is doing better than nothing, but yeah. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or I might bitch, bitch shoots. Um... YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash the lemon factor BTC. Uh, and then just, yeah, smash the subscribe button. All right, so we clocked in at 31 minutes. So, all right, so it's, yeah, I still got to work on it a little more because these used to be 15, 20 minutes, but that's because I never had to, because I used to, in the news videos, I would explain all the shit I was doing. Now I have to do all that in this video plus do Bitcoin. So, um, but yeah, it eventually becomes important anyway, because obviously, you know, my game is going to basically determine, you know, the value of these cryptos, right? You know, so <laughs> eventually. All right. So anyway, I'm done for the day, obviously. So enjoy this three day or night. I am going to actually lift weights because now I'm actually going to try out lifting weights and then make food. So now I can just get everything out of the way. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in all tomorrow's videos. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, crypto is going to continue suffering a little bit while the market, the, while the equity markets recover from the China flu virus fears. Uh, and as for 404, well, I mean, it's just going to continue to get uh, pounded harder. So, you know, until, until everything goes back to normal, um, well, you know, I mean, it is what it is, so. Really sucks. And we kind of need a thumbnail, so I'm just going to pick this weird purple thing.